Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a word cloud in Word. So what I've done so far, I've just been onto the internet and I've just collated a whole list of different motivational words that I'd like to use in my word cloud. Now I've just copied and pasted these from various websites and just come up with a few of my own as well. So it's just a simple copy and paste. There's nothing too complicated about this. It's just like writing a normal Word document where I can just go in, copy and paste it into my Word cloud. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the orientation of all of these pages because I want my Word cloud to fit on a landscape page, which is going to be this page here. So if I go up to the Layout tab here, just simply go along to the Orientation tab, click on the drop down and select Landscape. And as you can see, all my pages now are in landscape. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to make this get a lot easier. And my view, I'm just going to select one page at a time. At the moment, my view is on multiple pages so that you can see what I'm doing. But now that you've got a sense of where these words are, and I just want to concentrate on this top page here, I'm just going to simply go to view, and then I'm going to go to one page. And then just zoom up. And here we have our page. We're going to insert our word cloud. So the first thing we're going to do is just go into insert text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Then we're just simply going to drag and click out a text box. Now by default, these text boxes have a white background and a black border. You can't see the white background because obviously on a white page, but believe me, it's there. So to get rid of that, we need to select the text box, go to shape format, go to this icon here, which is the outline border and select no outline. Then go along to shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill. Then the first thing we need to do is insert our word. So I'm just going to go down. I'm just going to select a word. Copy it by Command or Control C and then just back up to my text box, double click inside so I can see my cursor and then just simply paste and you can see that that's been inserted. Just get rid of that dot at the end. Now you can completely customize your word. So if I just click off my text box, just click back on so that my cursor is no longer in the box and my cursor is actually this cross arrow. Go to the Home tab and then along to this section here. And this is where you can fully customize your text. So the good thing to do first is to simply choose the font that you want to use. So let's say, for example, I want to choose this breaking news font. You can also change them to bold, underline, italics, and you can also change the font size. Now you can do that three ways. You can either use this drop down menu, you can insert the value, or you can use these two icons here, increase and decrease font size. It's quite easy to use these because it just bumps it up for you and you don't really have to think about it. The other option here is this one here. If you want everything in uppercase, you can switch between the two. You can have anything in lowercase. But if we switch to uppercase, then we can use that particular look for this word cloud. So another little tip about your font, which you may not know about, if you double click inside your text box, you can see your cursors there. This is where you can obviously change your text. You can delete and add text and also highlight certain elements of it if you want to change the color of it but also if you select that word you right click go down to font and you'll see this menu here if you go to advanced you can see this option here called character spacing and down to spacing here now what this does it actually increases the spaces between each of your letters so if you feel that perhaps these letters are a little bit too close to each other, which I do, all you need to do is go down to the spacing option, click on the drop down and select expand. It automatically expands it by one point, but you can use these up and down arrows to increase that if you want to, and you will get a little preview at the bottom. So let's say I'm happy with 1.5, I just click OK, and now my font has changed. The key thing to the word cloud is to customize this text box as much as possible by your font and that word spacing, because all we're going to do is simply copy and paste these text boxes really quickly by using just one keyboard shortcut. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make sure that this is the color that I want and the size I want. So I'm just going to increase this font size by using the increase font size 
tab up here. Then I'm going to go to this icon here, which is font color, click on the drop down. I've selected a number of colors from my color wheel, which is recent colors. To go to the color wheel, just select more colors. And here you can see you have a color wheel and you can just move this cursor around the color wheel. The color you've selected will appear here in the square and you can increase and decrease the brightness of it using this slider. So once you've selected all the colors of your choice, I'll just go and select recent colors, one of those. And if I'm completely happy with that word, I'm just going to close down this text box so it's quite small or as small as it can go. And I can now place this anywhere on my page. If I want to turn it round, I just simply hover over this circle and my cursor changes to a circle arrow. All I need to do is just turn it round and it will actually click into place when it goes to that 270 degrees, which is now vertical. So the next thing to do is to just simply copy and paste this text box. The easiest way to do that is just to simply hit your Alt or Option key on your keyboard. Make sure it's selected. Hit the Alt or Option key. You can see my cursor changes. Click and drag. And as you can see, we now have a duplicate. Now, all I'm going to do is to go down, look at one of my words, Let's choose empower, select this word and simply type out empower. Now, if I was to copy and paste that word, which you can do, it's going to look exactly like this. And you're going to have to go back and change all the fonts, the colors, the spacing, etc. So it's just easier to simply type the word out. Once again, you can select this word or just click away, click back on, and then you can go up and customize the size of this and also the color using the font color icon here. Then once again you can move this anywhere in your document. You can move it across the words, beside the words, on top of the words and obviously turn them around. You can use examples from the internet so as you can see you've got a large variety of options here and you can simply take a screenshot of these and gain some inspiration for the way in which your word cloud will look. So let's take this one for example here. I'm just going to screenshot that. And then all I need to do is just to move that over. So if we just move this over a little bit and then just insert that and then I can have that as a little bit of inspiration over here. And of course I can take as many screenshots as I like. So again, just click on your text box, hit the Alt or Option key, click and drag out another one. And there we go, just click away, go down, have a look at some of the words, S select encouraging, double click inside. As you can see, my words disappeared because my text box isn't big enough. So just stretch that out if your word's not big enough. And once again, click away from it, click back on. If your cursor is still inside and you want to make adjustments to the word, it won't unless you select the whole word off and then just click back on again. When you make your adjustments up at the home tab here, it will just simply change all the text within that text box. So again, I'm going to just change the color and then just decrease the size of that and just move that over and just continue along using different words. An easy way to select all of your text inside your text box is by double clicking inside and selecting Command or Control A, which is select all.
So I think you get the general idea. It's just about fitting it all together, changing those colors just so they don't clash, and then just kind of building a shape, increasing and decreasing the font sizes. Just a really good tip, if you select your text box and you want to type, first thing to do is just hit the space bar and your cursor will appear inside. Then you just hit Command and Control A just to select the text. Then you can begin typing. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.